Hello everyone. Today someone asked me about recording a lesson in class in and then sending that lesson to the parents. I did make a video about this probably a few weeks ago, but since then testing it out with the student, it turns out the file size ended up being too large to actually send to the parent. So thanks to Emily finding another YouTube video on another method to record the classes to make the file size small enough, I'm going to show you how to do that. So first you're going to click on the video recorder in the top right corner. I suggest doing this a minute or two before your class starts. That way you're not trying to set this up while the student is in there and you're trying to start the lesson. So when you click on the video recorder, you're going to have this pop up and you're just going to click on the screen start recording button. You're going to notice when it comes up for you to save the file, you're going to see the type as .flv. You're not going to be able to view an FLV file. The first time I tested this out, I saved it as an FLV and then after the recording, I converted it to an MP4. That file ended up being slightly too large for me to actually send to the parent. So the video that Emily found showed another way to save it. So instead of uh, saving it as the FLV, you're going to click on that and you're going to choose all files. After you've chosen all files, you need to change the type that it's going to save as. To do that, you just change the file name. You can say, write anything you want for the name of the file at the beginning. So I usually choose, since I'm sending this to the parent, I write the student's name. So I can name this Kendall for my name. And then I like to include the date. That way if the parent's saving it, they have the date that they can pull up quickly. So I'll write 9-9. -9. And then the file type is .mp4. Just typing that in will make it save as an MP4 file. I had no idea you could do that, but turns out it does work. Then you, of course, want to choose where you want it to save. I'm just going to save this on my desktop. And then as soon as you hit save, the class is going to start recording. So I hit save and it's now recording. You're going to notice that it actually minimized my classroom. I have no idea if that's just because I have a large screen and it has to minimize in order for it to record properly. So you can let me know if yours does the same thing if, or if it just stays the large size for the whole screen, which is fine because I like to use it minimized anyway. My screen is way too large and if I have it filling my entire screen, I'm having to look around constantly, hurts my neck and you're not looking at the camera and the student. So now it's recording the class. So you just don't do anything else with the recorder until the end of the class and then you can click on the recorder again and hit yes for stop recording or you can just exit out of the classroom like this. As soon as you exit, it will stop recording. Yes, okay. So now I'm back in the class in area, your teacher portal area, if you wanna call it that. What I do with the lesson, once it's been recorded, is I upload it into that class chat box. So on the left side, you see all of your classes. This is my student, Winnie. I uploaded some other assignments for her to, if she wanted to work on. And then this is the test that I did with Emily. So I'm just going to upload it to Emily's because I don't want my student to see the test that I did. So in order to upload it, you just go to the little file down here in the chat box and you would choose your local file. This is where you would just find the file that you made. So here's my desktop and here it is. Kendall 9-9 -9 is my MP4 file. So I'm going to double click on that and then it goes into the chat box and then I can send. The reason it has to be a certain size is because the file for class in cannot be larger than 100 megabytes. Obviously this one I did was very short. Um, Emily did a test with a full 30 minute class and she told me her, sorry, she did it with a 37 minute class and the file size was 95 megabytes. So it just barely made it under that 100. So if you're teaching a 25 to 30 minute class, 
you should have no problem getting under that 100 megabyte size. If you're teaching an hour class, it's going to be too large for you to share. The only other option would be if you're doing a hour class would be halfway through the class is to stop the recording and then start a new recording. It's not really the most convenient thing to do, but if your parents want that recording, that's what you would have to do for that, as far as I know. If you're teaching a shorter 25, 30 minute class, you should be able to do it in just one recording. So once I've uploaded that file, I just send it. And now when the parent goes into their class in on their phone or their tablet, they can now see this file and they can open it. So. And it's now recording. You're going to notice, there you go. So now they can see that class recording. If you have any other questions about this, just let me know. Goodbye.